And let's see, we do have the Eight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. It has this energy of I'm moving on and I'm not willing to nurture this connection anymore. But let's see what's going on here. Eight of Wands, King of Cups, might have been a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, they show up here. They show up here. Um, you know, emotionally mature. But we are flying towards happiness. Eight of Wands and the Sun might be a Leo. You might have a water sign in a Leo. Let's see, but I, I feel that this is um, uncompromised happiness, you know, that we are um, going towards. Eight of Wands is a lot of movement, a quick um, shift, right? And we decide to take action and we are finally ready to make a choice over here. And we choose happiness, we choose truth. The sun is all about higher self, right? It's all about light. It's all about um, being your true self. And look here, eight of wands, eight of wands. That's why we combined a couple of decks. Um, so we go from stuck to flying, right? From stuck to flying, that's exactly the energy. Motivated by the sun, right? Staying in your truth, being your true self, your authentic self. And the six of wands. Yes, action and winning. I love this. It's a beautiful energy. Libra. It is a beautiful energy of moving. So let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. The most important, King of Wands. Mostly a fire sign. Two, uh, the High Priestess in reverse and the Six of Cups. It looks like somebody, a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, wants to break their silence. High Priestess in reverse, somebody gave it the, the silent treatment, but in silence, they've missed you. That's the Six of Cups. This is my, um, it's my reconciliation card, is my confirmation. It's a body, mind, and soul connection. And somebody is breaking the silence. Somebody feels like talking. So, Libra, past energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have the current energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you. The person you are dealing with and mutual. And of course you can always swap sides and take only what resonates. We do have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Might be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn involved at a distance might speak of lack of nurturing of this connection at this time and we have the six of cups again um libra very strong bond with this person and yet we had separation regret guilt five of cups um rejection that is something we are looking at the past and the recent past and that is something that we are regretful about um it has this energy of missing longing and wanting someone but with a sense of guilt, I shouldn't have, right? Um, of course, it's the energy of children also with the Six of Cups. Maybe you had children with this person or children are involved. But it has this sense of, I. it was real love. It was a real bond. It was a real connection. And I shouldn't, whatever you feel, you shouldn't have done. Now, this person of yours have Justice in Reverse, which is your energy, and the Four of Pentacles in Reverse. I feel that somebody let go of you, Libra. And this is you, and this is a Four of Pentacles, right? They um, had a strong bond. Four of Pentacles is really holding on to you, um, no matter what. And um, and then probably we just, you know, with the, uh, some of you, can be you, can be this other person, um, he or she decided to let you go, right? And let go of this connection. Um... Mutual energies between the two of you, Six of Wands, a lot of pride and a lot of Knight of Swords energy. This is your energy. Um, you might be dealing with another um, air sign. Um, but I, I kind of feel that that is a quick shift in movement that happened and a lot of pride surrounding all of it, right? I don't know if something unfair and unjust happened can be for some of you something related to money with the four of pentacles something related to this connection there was no doubt there was love right twice the six of cups and we just started the reading so we know the bond was strong but but again there was some letting go some unfairness and lack of balance and 
and a harsh quick decision maybe not very um, thought about right in the knight of swords energy right so where are we right now uh, Libra palace of swords and um, the wheel of fortune changes and clarity for the future uh, we know the palace of swords is like a world of communication a lot of vision a lot of um, you know ideas about the future and the wheel of fortune up and down up and down right so in a kind of a hectic world that's the wheel of fortune we still know where we go right that's a palace of swords we have a vision for the future it's more and more clear right and it makes sense that's a palace of swords right clarity of the mind despite the swirl of things right and the the spiral things um spiraling down or up um it's not it's a beautiful energy actually right it's um, um staying on the wave right now this person of yours they do have the empress um don't sleep energy by the way your energy is all over them and the king of cups in reverse or emotionally overwhelmed um still loving you nurturing you seeing you as the mother of their children the father of their children having a lot of love a lot of um you know kindness um towards and and um, you know being creative when it comes to this connection but still emotionally overwhelmed king of cups their cup is empty and they are sad Mutual energy is between the two of you, the Knight of Cups and the Hermit in Reverse, Virgo energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel this is the love, the nurturing love between the two of you. This is my love you, I want to, I want to make love to you energy, the Knight of Cups and the Hermit in Reverse is breaking the silence. So I kind of feel that both of you want to have communication at this point and emotions are still running deep, right? And the Empress on their side, Libra, I mean, this is having your energy all over them and, um, you know, staying kind of in that energy despite the King of Cups in Reverse. This is a lot of emotion. Um, and again, Cups in Reverse are tears. Energy coming your way, we do have the Palace of Cups in Reverse and the Strength. So this is despite the emotional turmoil, we are staying strong on our best behavior, taming ourselves. This is the energy of courage and, um, you know, working your way through whatever is um, happening right now. This person of yours, they do have the Hierophant, Taurus energy and the Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They want commitment. This person, actually Libra, is ready for commitment um, this is being apologetic, right? This is um, this is Page of Cups. This is really whatever they've done in the past and and put in danger this commitment. Somebody here is really apologetic about. And mutual energies between the two of you, Eight of Cups and the Emperor, right? So actually, we are getting organized and we are getting a plan, which might seem like. Um, emotional disconnection but we are both of you very tamed um, and focusing on uh, getting a grip on what's going on right now I don't see uh, we, we can say somebody wants to break the silence because that is this strong emotional bond there is no doubt that is a very strong one but as we see the outcome I'm not seeing um, Libra, the both of you coming together, but I'm seeing a lot of um, a lot of self-control and restraint, right? So let's see what guidance we receive. What are we supposed to do now that we know what we know, right? What are we supposed to do here? And again, the question is always the same. Should we say yay? Should we say nay? We do have sexual freedom whatever this means for you Libra and whatever things you are releasing and whatever you felt uh, bound to when it comes to intimacy and sexuality we are breaking free here reparenting yourself maybe that is something that you need to learn about sexuality we know reparenting it's all about patterns and unlearning and learning new ones and when it comes to your sexuality that is something that we need um, to learn and we have boundaries. 
So I don't know whose energy I'm picking up here, but it has something about sexual life and boundaries and limits and something that we need to learn. And we have one that completely flipped and it is about dating. So sexual freedom, boundaries and dating, I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> so I don't know if somebody is meeting other people in order to have, um, you know, sexual encounters. We don't have that. And the bottom of the deck, life purpose. So that is something that we need to break free. It can be a sexual addiction here or sex addiction. And somebody here is guided towards, um, you know, being smart about reparenting yourself, being the adult here and putting some boundaries to, it's like sex dates, it's like booty calls and stuff and focus on your life purpose. Now let's see the um, the energies we are guided to put back into the flow. However, this can be guidance for your um, person, Libra, but that, that is such a clear message where somebody is really asked to put some limits to sex dating or dating just for sex and focus on life purpose. And look deep, right? Reparenting yourself is looking deep into a form of, of pattern that is emerging when it comes to dating and we have purpose again uh libra we have purpose again so you possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love so that is something there and we have sexual freedom and we have um you know the universe kind of um, asking you to act from a place of love so surrender your fear of change the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation. I have faith that all is well. We do have happiness. So this is what we are called to put back into the flow. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Maybe that is why uh, there is a Libra out there that is asked to put boundaries to a situation that doesn't make you happy and focus on real happiness. And now we have forgiveness. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. So we need to forgive someone and start opening up to new energies. And we have surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Take action, taking action will attract success. And it comes with life purpose, right? Life purpose and procrastination. That is a big energy here. That is a big message for someone um, actually to start figuring out what is your life purpose. We have purpose twice. And surrender procrastination. Don't put it off. Don't push it away. Now it's the time. So, um, Libra, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.